a scam, it's a sham. Just so you know, my financial statements are phenomenal. They are actually less in terms of the numbers used than the actual net worth. The actual net worth is substantially more. No bank was affected, no bank was hurt. They don't even know why they have to be involved. And they've so testified. They can't believe that they're involved because they were paid back on time. There were no defaults, there were no problems. And it was like a perfect client. There was no victim here. The banks were represented by the best, biggest, most prestigious law firms in the state of New York, actually in the country. Some of the biggest and best law firms, in all cases, the biggest and best law firms. That's who represented them. The banks got back their money. Again, there was never a default. There was never a problem. Everything was perfect. There was no crime. So what we have here is an attempt to hurt me in an election. It's an attempt to hurt me in an election. This never happened before, where President of the United States leaves office and gets indicted. And the reason I got indicted was that I ran. If I didn't run, I'd be sitting right now at a beach like Biden does every time, even though he's supposed to be working. This trial could have been brought years ago, but they waited till I was right in the middle of my campaign. The same with other trials and indictments. It's all run by DOJ, which is corrupt in Washington. Everything goes through them. They're all corrupt people. Frankly, our country is corrupt. And that's one of the reasons I'm running. We're going to straighten it out.